demonstrated switch in the C lessons we're going to demonstrate it in PHP looks exactly the same again but this time what we're going to do we're declaring a variable up there called mood and we say fine switch mood okay so we put the, the variable name here it's called mood so we put it in here and we open a curly brace here say case happy if mood equals to happy do this echo or a I'm in a good and then break that's not true if that statement isn't true then it will go case sad echo oh don't be down okay and then it will say break that means it will otherwise if neither of these two are true then it will at default result would be echo neither happy nor sad but and it would print the ver the content of the variable which is fine so it should say but fine okay now you notice what I've done is slightly different than what I showed you before I usually put uh, quotation marks and then outside here I usually put concatenation and then I put the dollar mood okay like that but I'll tell you something it doesn't make a difference you can actually write it within the quotation marks just like I've done here and it will still work fine so we don't need to do this but I just want to show you an alternative way of presentation so that's why I've always put the variables outside the quotation marks and I've separated the text and I've placed it in the quotation mark so it doesn't make a difference okay again we break here and we finish with lesson six we're now gonna go and test lesson six so we go up there and press six and see what happens neither happy nor sad but fine so it it worked fine so we're gonna close that off okay save that and we'll go to lesson seven now and lesson seven is about the while loop while loop is something that we covered in C programming but we're gonna cover it in PHP as well here we're saying echo and I'm using some HTML tags the first HTML tag I've used is H2 which stands for the head remember I explained the head and so we're gonna use a title we're gonna put a title here and we're gonna make it bold this is a while loop script and we're gonna close the tag again by putting the backslash h2 and then we put another backslash pb for for bold so we're closing that off and then we have two line breaks so we start two double lines new lines we set a variable called counter by putting a dollar counter equals to one so we, we're giving it assigning the value one and then we say while the counter is less than or equal to 12 open start the loop and it says echo counter times 2 that means whatever value that is so that's 1 times 2 is and then we, we, we concatenate by putting the full stop here put brackets and inside the brackets we do an operation we take the value of counter multiply it by 2 and the result will be displayed here okay and then we concatenate again we start a new line after we finish that we go here and we say counter plus plus that means add one increment by one and it would loop again and it would just keep doing the test now counter equals two so continue and it would just keep going until the value of counter is equal to 12 and it's not less than uh, than 12 that means uh, it would it would exit after it goes greater than 12 it's not equal to 12 and it's not less than 12 so it will just exit okay so it will go up to 12 and then now when it goes up again it will be 13 and 13 is not less than 12 and it's not equal to 12 so then it will it will stop so let's just see that running I'm gonna save and got less than 7 and it put 7 up here enter and there you go this is a while if you notice it's actually very large text there it's a title and 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6 and so on until it reaches 12 12 times 2 is 24 okay so that's lesson 7 so I'm going to close that lesson 7 off close and we go to lesson 8 now go to edit and you know it's here I've started with HTML tags at right at the top I've made a head tag up there title which is another HTML tag and uh, this time I've, I'm putting a title right at the top of the browser so it gives us a title for loop script and that's lesson 8 okay I started the body tag and then I've opened up the PHP okay so I want well, now I've started the PHP 
I open it up just like that within HTML and now that I've just written echo quotation marks h3 that means the size of the text the size of the title if I put h1 it will be very large h2 is the second grade down h3 is smaller and it goes all the way to h7 h7 is the smallest title text and I put title and I've put uh, now I've made it bold so title is not written it's not bold it's a regular sized font and then I've made it bold here and it says this is a for loop program and I've closed the bold tag here and I've closed the head uh, title tag here okay next I have started the for loop for loop looks exactly the same like in C program again you put the name of the variable equals to initial initial value is one we're assigning one inside here we don't need to assign it outside and we say that the conditions is that counter is less than or equal to 12 just like in the for in the while loop and we increment the counter by one each time it loops inside after we open the the curly brace we have a print statement which is echo echo counter times two is and we do the operation again counter times two again it's exactly the same line as you noticed from lesson seven okay it does that and it just keeps looping until the counter is greater than 12 it's not equal, equal to 12 and it's not less than 12 so once it hits 13 it will stop and well, let's run it and see what happens so I've closed all the tags here let me just I forgot this bit here we forgot that so we're gonna close that off now save and I'm gonna go to here and I'm gonna put lesson 8 here we go title this is a for loop program that's bold let's make let's change things slight uh, what have I done here if I said that's bold up there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close that off h3 here and then I'm gonna close and remove this bit here and see it running see how that looks like save okay move to the second line oh but we didn't put a new line here okay let's have a new line br and we save here so I'll put title is quite large and then this is a for loop program you just play around with the script and you learn that way a lot better just mess around with it oh one last thing we put the title there's the title up there they had four loop script lesson eight okay so that's up there